Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm very excited to do because we are gonna be ranking all my recent eyeshadow palettes that I have tried and tested. As per usual in my videos, I do include swatches for the eyeshadow palettes and some looks. And a lot of these looks you can also catch on my Instagram and my TikTok accounts. But before we get started, I would love to welcome new visitors and viewers to my channel. Hello, my name is Eve and I love all things beauty. Here on my channel, I share about beauty and lifestyle. I upload new videos every week. And if that sounds interesting to you, I hope you stick around, enjoy this video. Video, subscribe to my channel now without further ado let's get into ranking i have not done dedicated videos on all these palettes because of my current circumstances or recent events if you've been on my channel you know what's been happening in the past several months or since the beginning of this year in my life so i have been trying and testing all these palettes on my own time some of these looks with these palettes came out on my instagram slash tiktok i will be sharing all the eyeshadow palettes watches with you today as well as some of the looks uh, that i've created with these palettes so most of these palettes are really good i enjoyed all of them some are better than others and some color stories are just more natural to me to like and gravitate towards than others however it's a ranking video something has to be last something has to be first without further ado let's dive in on the spot number eight i have a dream gaze eyeshadow palette from alter ego this design is so stunning and if you know how much i love flowers you know how much this appeals to me and just this color combination is just so 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 aesthetically pleasing so i really like the format of these eyeshadow palettes they are not too big or too small you do get 15 shades you do get a mirror all these pans are magnetic you can pop them out the reason why it ranks on the last spot is because it is a pastel palette i naturally do not gravitate to pastel shades in my makeup look. However, at times I do need a shade like that or I enjoy shades like this, primarily like spring and summer looks. It's a more of a companion palette for me uh, when it comes to pastels. In this specific palette, there are some shades that are better than others. My favorite shades here is this one, this one, this shade and this shade they're just so nicely reflective and smooth this shade is almost like that rosy peach shifting slightly towards gold it's such a beautiful shifty shade it's very very pretty shade in person and i think it's just one of those shades that i personally love and this peach transition shade is very very lovely i've been reaching to that specific shade quite a bit i just find peach tone shades very flattering on my skin tone when i'm in my palest these are the shades that definitely stood out to me out of the entire palette but the beauty of this palette is the hands are magnetic i definitely see myself traveling with some of these shades in the future i also did not own the natasha denona version of this palette so i cannot speak how it compares to it as far as like the variety of textures because natasha denona tends to sometimes mix the textures in her palettes and uh that's what alter ego tries to do they try to dupe the formulation as much as they can so i can't speak on that unfortunately but this is what i've noticed with this palette there's just a slight differentiation between the formulas another, so on the spot number seven i do have another alter ego palette mystique again this stunning design color story that resembles Natasha Denona's Circle Local palette, which I also do not have in my collection. This color story is obviously very, very colorful, and the pans are, again, magnetic, which is very beneficial. I gravitate towards neutral shades more so. However, I do enjoy incorporating colors in the blend sometimes when I do my looks, and I love that this palette is travel-friendly. I don't need to drag the entire palette with me if I want, like, specific, maybe, like, two, three, four shades with me. I really love that Alter Ego started doing the magnetic pans um, that just gives them like a really nice leverage in uh, comparison to the other indie brands. I really love how this palette is organized. It's just very straightforward by color store. It's just so easy to read. The Circle Loco palette, now that I'm thinking about like how it was organized, it was just definitely overwhelming because it was sporadic colorful shades. And for a neutral lover, I think that is overwhelming thing. This is a color store that's definitely a little bit too bold for my liking for everyday wear. However, I do use this as a companion palette because I do like all these shades the quality overall is nice and no problematic shades here the only shade that i do not enjoy here is this cream to powder formula which is you know similar to the natasha denona ones uh, however i think the natasha denona cream to powder formula it's still not my favorite even in natasha denona formulation however it's more advanced it's more perfected than the one from alter ego mattes here are pretty easy to blend and they're considerably pigmented so what you see here is what you get really but 
as far as the shimmer shades they're a little bit more on a satin side they're a little bit more subtle than i personally prefer it's not a bad palette overall i feel like if you are just getting into color if you want to experiment with color and you do not have eyeshadow palettes like this in your collection this is a good palette to start with because it does give you a decent quality to work with and uh, you can practice your skills on a colorful eyeshadows without breaking a bank. on the spot number six i have oslo palette from from Nomad Cosmetics. This is one of the most recent palettes that was launched from Nomad and this is one of the three palettes uh, that was launched. So this has a clearly cool color story. It's a six pan curated palette. I really love what they did with this launch. The brand does very good execution to their makeup launches. Everything is very thoughtful always. The quality of these mattes did not disappoint. This is such a good formula. Their matte formula is one of my favorites in my collection. I think it's just so easy to use. You get a beautiful pigment. They're so blendable. You can build up the color. The matte looks out of this formula are just so stunning. I am not even the matte eyeshadow look type of person, but at times I do want to wear matte look because how nice this formula is. The only reason why this palette ranks a little bit lower in today's video is because this is a cool tone palette and I generally lean towards a neutral or a warmer tones. So when I look at this palette, this is more of like a glam evening palette for me or like New Year's night. In the spot number five, I do have another Nomad mini palette. This is Canadian Rockies. You get four mattes here and two shimmers. I was surprised how much some of these shades spoke to my soul and how good they looked on my fair skin. I do love me some greens and I do love the blues that lean green and this palette just really serves that. I really loved both of the shimmers here. I did a beautiful look um, mixing these two shades on my eyelids and it just came out so beautiful. The shimmer formula in this palette is very nice and smooth. It does give you pigment. It definitely applies better with finger. That's what I find. It does apply with a brush, but it just goes a little bit sheer. But if you want to build up the full opacity of color, I just go with my finger and it just gives you a beautiful payoff. These two mattes specifically, this shade and this shade, these are my new favorites. I see myself using these in the fall. This palette is just going to be like sitting here front and center on my vanity where I get ready. So in the spot number five, I do have Ireland Wild Atlantic Away palette. What a fun palette. It was launched earlier this year, I think around um, St. Patrick's Day. Obviously it is based and themed around Ireland and yes, you do get a lot of greens, like array of different green tones. I have love green eyeshadows. You do get a beautiful green looks out of it for sure. This palette also gives you some of the neutrality and uh, some of the blue shades here. For my eye makeup look, I primarily use this palette today. So on my eyelids, I mix two different shimmers. It's this one and this gold one. And this shade is my inner corner. This shade is so interesting when you look at it. It does have a hint of green, but as you can see on the eyes, it doesn't translate like one. However, if you create a green look and pair it with green shadows, then it will pick up a little bit more green. It's like a chameleon shade in a way. I really love how reflective and like poppy the shimmers are and they're very, very smooth. Some of these transitional lighter shades, they're just so unique. Like this is almost like a pale mustard and this one has like a pale celery. You can't have too much variety with this palette because it's green heavy however you still do get a variety if you do not love green this palette is not for you and that's almost like a common sense but if you do love green i think you will still get some extra looks out of it and the quality is so nice this eyeshadow palette ranking was so hard for me because these are all the palettes of the formulas that i really like and i have multiple of palettes in my collection and it all really came down to some specific shades, some versatility, how much of each shade or color story I would gravitate to work. Can I travel with them? Can I take out pants out of the palette? Things like that. It's just very, very like nitty gritty, almost like 
personal preferences in a way. So take this a ranking with a grain of salt. Now we're on the top three and honest, but number three, I have Giad's palette from WhatsApp Beauty. This is such a cool color story. It definitely appealed to me at first when I looked at it because it does have more of like a neutral matte here, which is what I like for most part on a daily basis. But I also love this pop of yellow. This is actually what's in my initial transition shade. I really enjoy the matte formula in the What's Up Beauty palettes. I think it's just so easy to work with. And all the pans, again, are magnetic. Not that this palette is too big to travel with anyway, but it's nice sometimes to just grab like one or two shades instead of taking the entire palette. The mattes are easy to work with and and uh, this palette specifically gives you a really, really like easy to go to work with matte shades. The shimmers are just so special. I shared some of the makeup of the day looks with you on my Instagram. This is something that I do on my Instagram quite often. So if you do not follow me on my Instagram, I invite you to do so. The link is always in the description box for you where all my social links are. The looks that come out out of this palette are very beautiful. You do get versatility with looks here because there's a variety of shimmers a little bit of differentiation between the mattes as well you do get at least a good like three four completely different looks from each other so on the spot number two i have a palette that i naturally love this is just my full comfort zone the quality is incredible the shades are so beautiful when i wear this palette i just feel like i'm home you know it just does feel like home to me uh, this is an abu dhabi palette from nomad cosmetics warm neutrals and at first they look like, okay, just another warm neutral palette, but no, these shades are so beautiful. You really need to apply them on your eyes to really understand why they're so special. This palette is so beautiful, so cozy, so comforting to me that I could like live inside of this palette if I could. This shade specifically is my new favorite transition shade. I do have quite few shades like this in my collection but yet there's something different about this it has something like peachy rosy in it that is so flattering and so stunning on the eyes beautiful shimmers here they blend together really nicely and on their own they're beautiful and they're nice and smooth and pigmented whatever you see here that's what you get in your eyes i love this palette so much on the spot number one i don't think many of you would be surprised because this is a color story that i already love so much and the quality of these shades are so good i love this color story i love the looks that i can do with this palette and this is my complete comfort zone so on this spot number one i do have a wildwood eyeshadow palette from alter ego this is a color story from tasha Denona yaka palette and that palette is one of my favorite palettes in my entire collection this palette is perfection in my eyes i live in warm florida and we have the climate that is primarily warm for majority of the year this is something that fits into my lifestyle into my preferences into my day life and the formulation in this palette is so good this is one of the those like really good alter ego formulas the shimmers are shimmering they are so beautiful they're so reflective they like glimmer pick up on the light so i ranked this palette the highest in today's video because not only this color story is everything to me and the formula is really really good alter ego formula but it's also the price point that is hard to beat and all these uh pans are magnetic once again so this is the winner in today's ranking so these are the palettes that i've been playing with and testing and creating different looks in the past month so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed my company today if you have comments questions please leave them in in a comment section below i would love to chat with you there if you love eyeshadow palette content i will have a few of the suggested videos and playlists link for you in the cards at the end of this video thanks so much for watching and i will catch you in my next video